same side of the field now. It's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Nice job by Juan Thornhill there to get a hand in and break up the play. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. And that is caught. Oh, what a catch at the five-yard line. That goes for a gain of 31. Well, we haven't been shortchanged on offense. Another fun play to watch there on the deep pass. This game has the feel of what, a, a turkey bowl, a Thanksgiving day. You know, when we get together this year and the Davises and the Gardens get together, <laughs> that's what our playbook's going to look like, like they're drawing them up in the dirt. And so far, it's working for both of them. And he can't corral it. Maybe a big missed opportunity there defensively in the end zone. And now third down. Third and goal, Jackson. And that will be incomplete as well. How about the defensive stand here from first and goal, three straight incompletion. Yeah, I think people are wondering why didn't they try to run it at least once in there. But once the first incompletion happened, it's almost like they were committed to throwing the ball from then on out. So the offense set to take the field here they will have the football with less than a minute to go in the first half oh, man, it's Brown. and he'll be corralled right around the 34 the drive starting play a good one give him 19 and with that last play he's now up over that 300 yard mark and in today's NFL it almost feels routine and I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. He's the right side here, complete. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A good pick up there of 22. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. Jackson. Throwing on first down. Now he's going to throw it deep to the other side of the field. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. Third down. Brings up now Justin Tucker. He has hit from 61 in his career, so he has the leg for this. And this will be spotted on the other side of the field. It's a 61-yard attempt. That ties the game at 21 apiece. To the field goal. Here's Butker to kick it away. The dangerous hill now to return. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 22 yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Jackson on first down. Shot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Mark Andrews, there. And it's second down. Now the gun they give to Ingram. And he'll lose yardage here. Back to the 15. He went backwards seven yards, setting up a tough third down. And yet again, this run game just continues to be completely shut off. Completely stymied. Hey, they're trying to get some consistency, trying to... He's got a man, complete! And all the way down to the 39. Tack on 15 more for the face mask, and that becomes a huge play. Big pass gets caught on you. You're doing everything possible to get him on the ground, and sometimes you end up grabbing the face mask. And down in 
inside the 15, shy of the 10. Back to back, nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. On that play, it's able to get on the run and was still accurate during the football. Frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there and it would have been the first sack of the game instead They're able to influence the release and they did force the incomplete pass Jackson throwing again on second and ten And his throw is going to be incomplete Marquise Brown was the intended target and that takes us from second to third down Big play coming up here's third and ten I would expect to see some pressure here The pressure drops off as they look to throw And they'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown A 12-yard touchdown grab And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying the football game and in this day and age, I would love to play quarterback in the NFL. Wide open offenses, acrobatic receivers. If you're accurate, you're going to have days like this. Tucker now to kick it up. following the touchdown. this offense gets set to take over. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Intended for number 15. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's Snead as they run the jet sweep. Shins a second man. He's building up some momentum, isn't he? And the Chiefs D closes in on him again, and they drop him behind the line. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. He gets it to Brown. Good play. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards on the play. First and 10 at the 46 yard line. Jackson on first and 10. It's caught by Mark Ingram. of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. And he's got his man, Marquise Brown. A big gain of 31 on third down. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Got a man, it's caught for the Ravens touchdown. Mark Andrews. First 
and 10. Here's Mahomes. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. Cornell McPhee always a threat to find the QB, and he gets to him there. On second down, here's Mahomes. It's complete to Robinson. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Late game, that hurts. Take the touchdown off the board. No doubt about it, and this is where you make a great movie scene, right? Go in, rally the team. Okay, we lost points there. Let's get it back and go out and score again. Can he get it done? And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It'll be a five-yard pick up there, and it will take us to the two-minute warning. Time for a break. We'll come back and see how it all shakes out after this. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Only a yard on the pick up there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. Butker's kick here is good. And with a little a minute to play. They have taken the lead. Ravens, 36. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Returning it, Hill. And now running right through it. The Baltimore offense at the line, set to get going. Here's Jackson. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. He'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. These are the spots this stage of the game where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he may very well run by him. But in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now a desperation throw deep downfield and nearly intercept. there that would have been ball game if he had clinched it and caught it instead it gives him one more chance here on fourth down they'll try and throw for it with jackson and that is incomplete they had to go for it with such little one in the win column for Kansas City and it was Patrick Mahomes leading the way.